Hi students, my name is Amir Pimparker and I'm a Microsoft Technical Trainer based out in Sydney, Australia. In this video, we will be talking about how to create storage blob on Azure. To begin with, you can jump on the following page, aka.ms/az900/sandbox. Once you're on this page, you can see various lab exercises which will be required for your AZ900 certification. Now today, we will be talking about how to create storage blobs on Azure. To begin with, I would like to request you to click on the following link. Once you're on this link, don't forget to sign in. Now, once you're signed in, it might take some time to activate the sandbox. But once you're ready and the sandbox is activated, which will look something like this, you can sign into your portal. Now, once you're on your portal, don't forget to to confirm that Microsoft Learn Sandbox is activated. Now, once you're on the portal, you can create a resource. Now, today we will be creating storage. So we will hover onto storage and create a storage account. Now, once we start creating the storage account, choose the subscription to be the concierge subscription, the resource group to be the default one. You can come up with any storage account name, which should be unique. So I will go with my name, it's Ahmed and a random number, let's say 112, and I'll just quickly review. Now it will run the final validation. It might take some time and you can then create. Now, when it's getting created, you can see the initializing deployment tab here, and it might take two to three minutes for this to be created. Now, once your deployment is complete, you can directly go to the resource. Now, once you're on the resource, this is how your storage account looks like. Now to create or upload any kind of image, I would like you to go into containers and create your own container. You can name it anything that you want. It can be, again, Ahmed. I'll just name it Ahmed. And I'm giving the public access level as private, so no one can access this. And I'll just quickly create this container. Now, once the container is created, just here, you can go in the container and upload any image that you want. Select one of the images I had, which is and I have uploaded this image. It might take some time for image to be uploaded. Once the image is uploaded, you can see the image here. Now, these are the details about the image. When was the image created, modified, what version it is, what type it is, how much size it is. So you can get different types of information related to your image. Now, go, to go to image or to access the image, click on the URL, copy this URL. And once the URL is copied, and then paste it on your browser. Now, you can see that it gives us an error. Any idea why it gives us an error? Now remember, when we created this image, we had given no one access to the container. So let's go back. Let's go back to the container and change the access levels. So we can just go here. And now I'm inside my container and I'm gonna change the access level from private, which is no anonymous access to anyone. Now once the level of access of the container is changed to anyone, it can be viewed by anyone. Now, again, we go inside the container, we go to our blog, copy this, or we can just go back here and just refresh this. Now, this is me saying hi and a quick thumbs up to you guys. So thank you for this lab. And to finish it this up, we can just create or delete everything that we created. So I just quickly recommend you to delete whatever you created. And then we can end the lab. So thank you so much for attending the session for creating Azure Blobs with me. And I hope you had fun. Thank you.